I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of sh** come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Had to rise up just so they could see me Did what I We want to tell you about the most disaster-proof business we know of. In 2020, the world came to a complete sudden stop. All businesses were forced, big and small, to close their doors. We were terrified. We stuck to what we knew, ice and syrup. But before we go any further, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications on when we upload a new video. Also, click that like button below and comment and let us know how the pandemic affected you and if you own a business and if it affected your business. Before the pandemic, business was bustling. The calendar was booked, events were back to back, and times were exciting. Yes, our business was booming. It was exciting and we were talking about expansion. The entire world was flipped upside down. All of our jobs, all of our events canceled like that. Our business was eventually labeled essential. We had to make some costly adjustments to our day-to-day -day operation, but we stayed open. We went door to door, neighborhood to neighborhood, delivering tikis, bringing some happiness and some joy when people were locked up at home in a very uncertain, scary time. And just when we thought the skies were clearing, a storm come rolling in. Only after a few months of being back in business, Hurricane Laura came rolling in. Hurricane Laura was one of the most powerful hurricanes to ever hit Louisiana. She barreled in as a Category 5, having very little mercy on Louisiana's southwestern Gulf Coast. The devastation was pretty mind-blowing. Buildings imploded, roofs blew away, houses flooded, and thousands of trees were uprooted, tossed on people's homes, and tossed in the streets. For 25 days, we lived without power. In fact, we pulled out an ice chest to wash our clothes in. We spent most days, in fact almost every day, cleaning up the storm damage and helping our neighbors clean up the damage that was caused by Hurricane Laura. We would sleep by candlelight due to not having any power. Cell service was a hit and miss type deal. And just when we thought it was all clear, the clouds started to gather again. Not one week after we had gotten electricity, TV, and cell service to a normal level, then we learned of Hurricane Delta. Later, Hurricane Delta took the exact same path as Hurricane Laura did and hit us dead on. Man, it was hot. Living in Louisiana for 40 days and 40 nights without electricity in Louisiana summer heat is miserable. We had also lost many of our employees because the hurricanes damaged where they lived so they had to evacuate and they couldn't come back immediately. So through all these disasters, we realized exactly how nimble and disaster-proof our business was. So we laced up our boots and we got back to work. We delivered our product to the beaten and battered community. People, they would light up with joy when they saw us coming. They were so excited to see some joy and happiness back in our community. Tiki's broke the monotony of the everyday cutting trees, building fences, patching roofs, and hauling debris. Even as we're making this video right now, our community has still not fully recovered from the damages of Hurricane Laura and Hurricane Delta. Buildings still lay in ruin, many people are still homeless, and a lot of businesses were lost. Yes, we have you booked on the 30th? Uh, yes ma'am. Okay, see you then. Thanks for calling Tiki's. Because Tiki's is a mobile business, we were able to move through the pandemic and the hurricanes with a breeze. We were able to navigate all the storms that 2020 have brought. The flexibility and the low cost is the key to success for us. Take into your hands a plan, your own hands can land your own brand and damn, I feel like no one takes accountability, they want the credibility, convincingly unwilling to put in the...